welcome back yes this is my third video and for this one i'm gonna talk about another really popular um disappearance case this is gonna be about the disappearance of madeline mccann madeline was born in the uk and she lived there with her parents and her two younger siblings april 28 2007 madeline's family um got to portugal they went to portugal for a spring break and they stayed in a two-story apartment. The apartment complexes in which they were staying in, um, seven of their friends and their friends' kids were also staying in the same apartment complexes just right next door. The day of the disappearance was pretty normal, kind of like any other day. They all had lunch together and then they went down and got ready to go to the pool together. After this, Kate took, took the kids back to the apartment while their dad had an hour-long um, tennis session and then they took the kids back into the the resorts like kids daycare kind of thing um just so they could like have some fun together before they had to go back into the apartment they had dinner and then they put the kids into bed at around 8 p.m and then the two went and had wine together with the rest of their friends they went and all had wine together at this kind of like bar thing by the pool at the apartments that they were staying at and this bar that they were um at that night was only about like 50 yards from the apartment where madeline was at while all of the parents were out at the bar having a good time um they created like a routine check where everyone would take turns going to check on the, their kids at 8 55 one of the parents his name was matt um he decided to go check on the kids it was his turn and when he went to go check on them he came back he said everything was fine all the kids were safe and everything seemed normal at 905 madeline's dad went to go check on them again um but while everyone was doing their checks they were all going in through the back sliding door of the room um that all the kids were in and this one this door was left unlocked unlocked because it could only be locked from the inside so they just felt like it would be better to leave it unlocked and they didn't want to use the front door because they wanted to keep that one locked um, and also they didn't want to make any noise like going in and out so they wouldn't like wake up the kids when he went to go check on the kids he noticed that the room that um, his kids were staying in was slightly like the door was more open than um, how it was whenever he had left so he went in there and checked on them and he said that he saw all three of the kids in there his twins and also Madeline in the room and they were all asleep so he just let um he left he closed the door behind him and then he went back to his friends at the bar but while madeline's dad was walking back to where all of his friends was he saw one of his friends across the street and he went up um and just like started talking to him catching up with him and apparently while they were talking um one of the other moms of the group that was there she walked past them and she saw them but apparently they didn't see her but she saw them talking and she was on her way to go check on her kids and she said that further down the road it was pretty dark outside but further down the road she noticed that there was a man walking at a pretty fast pace and he was carrying a little girl that looked to be around the ages of three or four and she was wearing pink pajama pants. she said that she didn't think very much of this because she was at a resort and she kind of just assumed that it was a father carrying his sleeping daughter back to their room or something so she continued to go check on her own kids um, back in the room and once she saw that they were fine, she went back to everyone else. At around 9.30, one of the other um, parents, his name was Matthew, he went to go check on all of the kids and he said that whenever he walked into where the McCanns were sleeping, the kids, he said that it was really quiet and so he went in the room and he, looked, he just took like a peek in there and then he saw that the twins were asleep and he didn't go fully in the room so he said that he just assumed that madeline was there and that she was asleep because it was so quiet but he couldn't quite really see if she was there or not but he just assumed she was and he went back later at around 10 madeline's mom kate she went to go check on her own kids and she said that whenever she went to go shut the door in the kids room that she noticed that the window was open because of the way that the door shut and the door back up and she noticed um, that Madeline wasn't there anymore but the twins were still asleep. So whenever she noticed that Madeline wasn't there anymore and that the window was left open, um, she ran out of the room. She left her two twins still sleeping in there but she ran back to everyone else 
and told them that Madeline was missing and that's whenever the mom from earlier said that she um, told everyone that she saw a man walking away the apartments carrying a little girl in his arms with pink pajamas and um, so they called the police at around 10 and then they arrived at 10 15 and then they immediately started a big search for Madeline and the next morning they appeared on the news and it was Madeline's parents like asking for help in the community if anyone had seen her and all of that. As soon as this news came out, there were a couple of like sightings coming in and one which was from an Irish couple that um, said that they had seen a man carrying down, carrying a little girl in his arms down to the beach, um, which was only four minutes away from the apartments. And there was also another sighting from a motorcyclist and from that night that said that he had seen a couple with a little girl and they that they appeared to look like they didn't want to be seen. So police got descriptions of the people that um, the these witnesses apparently saw. And these are the sketches that they got out of the descriptions. Um, there was also like some news going around that or like a theory kind of that basically said that um, Madeline wasn't like taken, that she was killed there. Um, at the resort which um, could have been possible but people think that the parents could have had like something to do with like if she were to be killed on the resort people think that her parents would have had something to do with it because whenever the um, canine dogs were brought in they picked up like scents um, behind her bed behind her bed frame where she was sleeping and then also in her parents closet and also in their rental car that they had which was really odd so because of that um the parents the mccann parents um became suspects at one point in the case and police were really looking into them a lot of people really questioned the parents because um the resort had like a nanny service and they were really being criticized on their parenting at, at this time like just the choices that they made to leave their kids behind to leave them all alone like with no supervision just like checking on them every 30 minutes because anything could have happened in those 30 minutes even if it wasn't a kidnapping it could have been anything so they were really criticized especially for not having a nanny since there was a nanny service at the re resort and since like money wasn't an issue for them or anything like that when they were asked about this like why they didn't um just get a nanny for the kids for that night out they said that they just wanted to like accommodate to what was best for the kids. They thought that this was what was best for them and they wanted them to like be able to stick to their routines and not have to change anything for a nanny, which is kind of strange, but that's what they thought. Even though they were um, police suspects for a while, they did end up getting cleared later on. I don't know exactly how they got cleared, but they did. But even when they got cleared, people said that the way that they were acting, like in interviews and just in public in general, was really strange. And a lot of people compare their mannerisms on um, like signs that people use to like detect a, when someone is lying and things like that. And just because of their body language, people think that they could have had something to do with it. That it was probably an accident, or she like fell down the stairs or something like that. But I don't know if I believe that too much because I would hope that like if it was an accident I don't think it would have been covered up so quickly I think someone else in the gr group like the friend group that they were with would have noticed like for a period of time that they were gone like if it was such a long time and also there's just the fact that one of the parents saw a man walking away with a little girl away from the apartments I think it's kind of hard to believe that her parents would have had something to do with it or like were the ones to actually cause it but people think that it could have been them because in their interviews they don't show too much emotion and they kind of often just smile after talking about their daughter but um it's kind of hard to judge it because nobody knows how these people grieve their lost daughter madeline's mom kate also said that um the morning of that madeline said to her and her husband Madeline said, why didn't you guys come whenever we were crying last night? And I guess um, they had left the kids alone the night before again. 
but this kind of made her mom believe that someone probably went in and like scared her her kids or something and that's what caused them to cry um and she also said that that morning she also noticed that there was a big brown stain on madeline's shirt so she thinks that it could have been the same man from the night before that could have gone in the room and like scoped it out and then the next day took madeline so the main um theory i guess is that madeline was abducted because there's no clear evidence that she left on her own since um whenever kate found her missing she told everyone and everyone went in the room people mess with things people touch things so and no there was no clear footprints there was no clear dna in the room so um police weren't able to clearly see that madeline could have left on her own or if someone clearly went in there and took madeline those two theories seem to be like the most popular and the most um possible either that her parents had something to do with it or she was just abducted by a random stranger so a lot of people think that her parents did it and um their friend group is covering it up for them um which i think i would hope they wouldn't do that but it's also a possibility yeah anyways so there hasn't been also any like arrest made or anything made on this case it hasn't I feel like it's kind of been forgotten since it's been so long um her parents still appear like online every once in a while saying that they're still searching for madeline and all of these things and there's also been multiple like random sightings of girls that think that they're madeline mccann or like could be her but they've all come out to be false my personal opinion i don't think her parents had anything to do with it just because the friend um the other mom in the friend group said that she saw someone walking away with the girl and also the irish couple said they saw someone walking away with a girl towards the beach so that's kind of what i believe the most um i think it's interesting that there was like i don't know that there's absolutely no one that they could have had as a suspect other than because the, the only real suspect that they had was like the parents and also um that family friend that the dad caught up with but other than that there hasn't been like anything else so that was kind of weird like any camera footage or any like any like anyone from the resort or anything i don't know so the case is still unsolved and yeah that's the end of my last of my third of my third video bye bye